The Bank of England may have been busy printing money with King Charles III's face on it, but little is known about how much money he makes, or how much he's worth. He's inherited land, properties and other items from Queen Elizabeth II, and one estimate suggests his fortune is some $745 million. But a lack of transparency from the royals makes it difficult to determine exactly how rich Charles is. Here's what we do know about his sources of income, and what it all adds up to. Charles has always had something of an entrepreneurial spirit. In 1990, he launched his Dutchy Originals range of organic oat biscuits, which later expanded to other products made on the Prince's estate. Those products were eventually sold exclusively in British supermarket Waitrose as part of a partnership deal. The brand reported profits of over $4 million last year, all of which was donated to the Prince of Wales' charitable foundation. As the Prince of Wales and heir to the throne, Charles also controlled the Duchy of Cornwall, an estate with net assets of $1.3 billion, which covers almost 130,000 acres of land across England. Its net assets have increased in value by 44% since 2012, with Charles seeing his income from the estate increase 25% over the past decade. He raked in $28.3 million last year, mostly through rent from commercial and residential properties. Now that Charles is king, the Duchy of Cornwall, along with its multi-million dollar income, goes to his eldest son, William. He succeeds me as Duke of Cornwall and takes on the responsibilities for the Duchy of Cornwall, which I have undertaken for more than five decades. But that hardly leaves the king destitute. Charles inherited the Duchy of Lancaster from his mother, worth around $800 million. It consists of more than 45,000 acres of commercial, agricultural and residential properties in England and Wales, and provides a private income for the monarch. The late Queen earned $29.7 million from it last year, and there's nothing to suggest her son won't take home a similar amount. He also doesn't have to pay any taxes on duchy revenue, though he will follow in the Queen's footsteps and opt to pay income tax, after deducting money spent on official duties. But the Duchy of Lancaster isn't the monarch's only source of income, or even their most valuable. A large amount of King Charles's income derives from something called the Sovereign Grant. Here's how that works. In the 1700s, the monarchy handed over revenues from swathes of land to the government, known as the Crown Estate. These days, the Crown Estate makes money on a range of assets, from retail property to golf courses and even offshore wind farms. Those assets are valued at around $20 billion. I take this opportunity to continue the tradition of surrendering the hereditary revenues, including the Crown Estate, to my government for the benefit of all, in return for the sovereign grant. Every year, the government pays a percentage of the profits made on those assets back to the monarchy. Last year, it totaled more than $106 million. That was used to fund the Queen's official duties and maintain royal residences, including Buckingham Palace, which is kept in a trust for the reigning monarch. The King does not personally own the properties making up the Crown Estate, and can't sell them for his own financial gain. Unlike the two properties we know he inherited from his mother, Sandringham House in Norfolk and Balmoral Castle in Scotland, which has been in the royal family since 1852. The 80,000 acre preserve in the Scottish Highlands has since been the holiday retreat for Britain's ruling families. The two estates passed from monarch to monarch until Edward VIII's abdication in 1936, when a financial settlement saw them transferred to his brother and Charles's grandfather, George VI. Each was valued between 66 and 79 million dollars by one royal expert, although a potential market price for this kind of asset is difficult to determine. Last year, a cottage on the Sandringham estate was made available on Airbnb as a holiday rental by Norfolk Hideways. Visitors can book the garden house for just over $1,000 per night. Norfolk Hideaways couldn't say how much of any revenue from the listing went back to the royal family. The Balmoral estate in Scotland also rents out cottages, in addition to selling ticketed tours. The king could also have inherited Queen Elizabeth's personal investment portfolio, the value of which is undisclosed. The palace won't comment on the monarch's wealth or the contents of wills. They say it's a private matter. We do know that Charles paid no inheritance tax on any of the assets passed to him by the Queen. But unlike other UK citizens, royal family members don't have to make their wills public. This means we can't determine what Charles inherited from his mother or father, Prince Philip, so we may never know what he's truly worth.